These are Arctic wolves. I told you, he was chatting up the ladies, I yeah, know. But, but would that work with you? What? <coughs> Wore the wrong shoes. I said, just want to stay a minute and see if he humps one of them. I don't even blink and it's got a fly on its face. We left Switzerland this morning. We drove through France, Luxembourg, and now we've arrived in Belgium. And the reason we are where we are is because I got tired. I think we were driving for about seven hours. Sarah found a park for night location, which is a little air, and it's, what, 12 euros? Mm -hmm. 12 euros a night it is. That includes electric, water, toilets, and Wi-Fi. The plan was to get up in the morning and go to Ghent, but it turns out there might be a bit of a special treat accidentally that we found round the corner. So we're gonna stay the night here tonight and show you something a bit special in the morning. Morning from a very sunny Belgium. What you have to do is you have to either pay at the tourist information centre here or the warden comes round and takes the money off you on the rounds. But the tourist information centre was closed when we got here last night and the warden came and knocked on our van at 8 o'clock this morning. Half eight. Can't we were still asleep. So we just got dressed and we're gonna make a brew and then go around and pay the thing, but it was silent here last night. It's a nice morning to wake up to. Just wanna sort ourselves out and then go and see something a little bit special. Hopefully. I'm gonna put these on the video now in case I forget. These no words, just perfection. If anyone knows where to get this exact cookie from in the UK, you let me know. Merci beaucoup. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at blues. No, I don't care because I am on my way. We've actually come to a wildlife park and it's a, what is it? A UNESCO what? Geo something. UNESCO Geo Park or something. Yeah. And it's got bears and reindeer and highland coos and other stuff. You'll just have to stick around to find out because we can't read the leaflets because they're in Dutch. Wore the wrong shoes. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Rainy dear. <laughs> now we're after to see some wild pigs, boy. Squeal like a pig. No. Squeal like a pig, boy. What a lot of pig squeals, like. Right? Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking donkey. There's lots of juniper growing around here because of the conditions. I think they've got. They're setting out different environments and allowing different sort of plants and wildlife to have it there. And yeah, juniper's used for gin. And smoking ham, I think it said. It's a big boy, girl. Yeah. A bit shy, aren't they? David's bloody Attenborough in a zoo looking at pigs. The squat's pain. <laughs> Squirrels this way. Squirrels? Squirrels. We didn't come all this way to see squirrels. What the red squirrels we would have? I don't see very many red squirrels, do you? Said I thought that was one. Here you go. I thought owls slept in the daytime. Maybe they're asleep. I'm gonna try and get this big beast, but the sunlight is right behind it. I'm not sure these animals have read the script, 
Not very entertaining. They're all schnoozing. Just got to see an Arctic fox as calm as you like. Oh, that's bright. Oh. It says that the Arctic fox can make well, its fur keeps it warm up to 50, minus 50 degrees. Now you get them in Scandinavia, don't you? Yeah, well, what I mean is it's like quite hot today. And there's a little Arctic fox on your bag because it is the logo for 11. Ah, oh, there we go. This is apparently a viewpoint of the park. Look at this. This is Belgium. This is actually bloody Belgium. You like it? I love it. I've always loved Belgium though. I think every time we come we <gasps> enjoy it, don't we? It's not just a crow. Press that button. I'll do my turn. That's an aeroplane. <laughs> there we go. There go. <laughs> There's wolves in here, I think. I'm sure wolves. I've seen wolves. Like werewolves. What? That's it. Fucking hell. That's cardboard. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to the polar park in Norway, I think it is, or Sweden. Might not need to go now. We're seeing a polar bear in Central Park Zoo, which was really sad. It was like the saddest looking bear I've ever seen, which wasn't quite nice. So it'd be nice to see them in the natural habitat, wouldn't it? There's polar bears here? Yeah, bear. I thought they were brown bears. I like a big polar bear. It eats reindeers, deers, wild boar, rabbits, rats. Sheeps, goats. It's not fussy as a wolf. How much was it to get in here? Uh, it was 26 euros. No. Uh, yeah, 26 euros each. Yeah. Six, six kilometre walk round, and you're walking sort of around pretty woodlands, and they're trying to conserve different areas, and different trees are growing there to suit the certain animals, and certain animals are doing what they do in that area and bringing other animals in, blah, blah, blah. It's all about conservation yeah. and making people like me happy. Why are you a conservationist? No, I just like seeing nice animals. No, it is but it. obviously conservation is important because I wouldn't be able to see nice animals without conservation. True. The wolves were pretty elusive. But we managed to see them quite clearly. Got a few dodgy snapshots. Oh. You'd, be, you'd have to stay there all day to get a good glimpse of them, wouldn't you? Not <laughs> even blinking, it's got a fly on its face. Next up, we got to see marmots and a deer, a male deer, making some right whingy sounds. He's trying to pick his female. He's sniffing him and licking him. If that was a child, I'd have told her to shut up. Yeah, he was just making some proper weird whingy sounds. I'm guessing that's his way of wooing the women. Would that work with you? I told you, he was chatting up the ladies, I yeah, know. But, but would that work with you? What? That's what you sound like all the time to me. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but I like them. And there we have some extremely colourful newts and uh, 
a frog that's gone off babies. These are Arctic wolves, and it says they can withstand temperatures as low as minus 70 Celsius. In the Arctic, cold prey is scarce, so the Arctic wolf has no other choice but to roam immense territories ranging from 1,000 to 3,000 square meters kilometers. Their thick white fur keeps them nice and warm, but also allows them to blend in with the snowy surroundings. What are those beasts off? Came front. Do 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 do. Well, that was. Um. I've never watched Game of Thrones. <laughs> I felt like I was a. Oh, I forgot the name. Jon Snow's family. The Norths. The Smiths. No, the. Oh my God! What are they? The Joneses. Mm -mm. The Lannisters and the Starks. I feel like I'm a member of the Stark family. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Alex from the Travel Beans today. He's hearing animals crying, he's like, oh, that's not that, that's this. <laughs> but yeah, Alex does call himself Alan. I can hear the so. stag making that autumnal noise. You're way too far away to see properly, but there's some big old red deer stack. Oh, there's one running down from the hill now. They're doing that mating call that they do. I can't remember what it's called. Rutting. Rutting, that's it. Is it? Oh, I guess that's... It is. I thought you made that up. <laughs> You've even got bloody vultures. Big cat, that, isn't it? Who knew a lynx was so majestic? They eat a whole deer. No. A roe deer. They eat a roe deer. One roe deer every week. Tiny little putty cat. And if you do come walking around here, it's quite a trek. So make sure you bring substantial food with you. Brought one of these bags between us. That's not substantial. So let's actually looked on the website here and you can cla you can go glamping here and we've just found it. Look at these. Come to the conclusion I need a bigger lens for my camera. 200 to 600 maybe. Okay, now on the other side of the field, hoping to get closer to these rutting stags. And by the time we've got round this massive, big expanse of land, they buggered off towards where we were. Can hear them for miles though. <laughs> I think that was a young male, he's just shooed out the way. <laughs> A little bit further down the trail brings you closer to where the deer are. So we're just waiting for the Venger bus to bugger off so we can have it nice and quiet. Maybe the girls want to eat. Mm. Mm. Say that again. I said, just want to stay a minute and see if he humps one of them. He's obviously trying his best, so I just want to make sure, see if he's successful. Mm. Yeah. Very rare to see wolverines in captivity. There's actually less than a hundred of them 
in zoos all over the world. So. And there's how many here? Five. Five here? Yeah. We're having a lovely bimble through the Belgium countryside. We've got stags and deers on this side, and we've got brown birds on this side. <laughs> it is, that's exactly what it is. So, pan your hand. This whole section of the park here is just full of deer. Red deer and some other deer and long gone cows and all that stuff. Right behind us, there's four big four year old grizzly bears in this in this pen. It's uh and we've just walked past the wolverines. It's just fucking He's taking it off. The bears remind us of of Oscar. Just for a little bit of perspective as well. I don't talk to this big camera, especially with a microphone on it in public. But this highlights how quiet this park is. Feels very private. You need definitely need to stick this on your road tip list. And it looks like we might have found a better viewing platform for the bears. Have a look at this. That was fantastic. They were 32 year old, 32 years old, both of them birds, born in 1990. Absolutely stunning. It was amazing to get that close to them and see them that calm as well. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people don't like zoos and things like that, but I don't know, it was a nice day out. <laughs> um, it's not as zooey as some zoos, does that make sense? A big beautiful bird and his little angry looking bitch who came later on are the last animals we get to see here. We're now waiting for the tram to take us back to the main entrance. Is that an eagle? No, it's a midgey. No, above the trees, look at it. No idea. That is massive. That is one of the vultures we've seen before. This place is amazing. Do it. So today, I've probably mentioned some of this before, but it was a complete accident. We did a long drive from Switzerland, aiming to get to Ghent, and we didn't quite make it because I was tired. So Sarah found an air on park for night, and we just stayed there because it was 10 quid a night. When we got here, there were signs everywhere for Wildlife Park and we thought we'll give it a go because there were some decent animals there like the wolverine and the arctic fox and what have you. So yeah, we decided to give it a go. Definitely the biggest surprise of the trip and one of the best days that we've had in ages, isn't it? It was a phenomenal place. It was just purely by accident. We should have been in Ghent by now, but we're not. So Sarah's just going to try and book us a campsite now. So I hope you enjoyed seeing less mountains and more nature. And uh, yeah, next video should be something completely different again. See you later.